Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. And already we're underway here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I would think Son Young Min, the South Korean. He can play anywhere in attack, but ideally his, his most success seems to come from wide and his incisive inward bursts. He may not yet be regarded as a great goal scorer, but he has real ambition to get there. Okay, interesting. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. Barcelona draw first blood here. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Thiago goes looking. Hoists it forward. Chance to break. And here's Lewandowski. Now it's Son Hyung Min. Efficiency of movement and certainty of outcome. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't need them. They paid the price and deserved it. Barcelona take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. He has done it! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before, and no doubt they'll work it again. We have got ourselves a game here. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. Zapata. He's through. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. He's picked him out. Ilicic! He's pulled a 
off a fine save. Josip Ilicic simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. then on the defensive side of his game you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all that we hit half time a really good half of football three goals and just one separating them it's kind of a hard one to call Peter isn't it I mean from what we've seen so far both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial so it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period well it remains very delicately poised and based on the, the promise we've seen through the first 45 minutes I wouldn't be surprised if this takes another twist or two it certainly would be in keeping Barcelona leading by one in a finely poised game it is intriguing to watch and could easily go either way. And the game has already resumed here. And it's Zapata. Zapata looking to get on the end of this. Gets the better of his man. And they've been caught out here. Forward it goes. Dashing forward at pace. It's Lewandowski! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive. And expectations were not met. Some activity down on the touchline. Seems there's going to be a change. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Hoists it high. Oh, good take in a good area. Atalanta showing a little more urgency now. And to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, I hit and hope is just about the sum of it. Oh, well, that is asking. Oh, shooting chance! <laughs> All over in seconds, that's what they can do to you. That's just brilliant counter-attacking football, and as soon as possession was theirs, it triggered a move of devastating speed that was just too hard to handle. Barcelona take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Look, this position ought to convince them to increase their lead. I think they should uh, be really positive about this now, Peter. Well, he wasn't being fooled. And it's played forward. Socrates does well to read it and intercepts. Thiago spreads it towards the left. And out to safety. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Thiago needed to come up with a better ball. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Tries to locate someone up front. He's through. Big chance! Back at that. That's how you play on the counter. 
quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Barcelona grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Beckham. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Forward it goes. Keeper's ball. And that is that. Barcelona, a class apart. Opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. To summarise what we've seen.